Hello, welcome to another video from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab. Um, my name is Trevor Lewis, and today we're going to be using X-Design, and we are going to be using Trim, and we are going to be using Offset to make more interesting sketches. So, we know how to use these shapes. Um, this spline tool I like to draw with a lot, but Offset doesn't work with it. So, not yet. Um, maybe in a future update it will, but in the current version of X-Design it doesn't work. But what you can do is you can add shapes together by just drawing them on top of each other in the same sketch. And then you can use the trim tool, and just drag across the lines you don't want, and sometimes you have to zoom in. And you can just trim those lines. It's pretty fast to trim, sometimes you have to go and clean up the edges. And then it will fill in like that and make a closed shape. So that's the trim tool. I'll go back over that in a minute, a little bit slower. But the offset is, it's a lot like doing a shell, except for you can have the, you can just create two lines that are separated by a certain amount. Um, when you do a shell, it, it usually has a bottom on it unless you remove both faces. And sometimes when you do a shell, you might end up with something that um, has some ledges in it that are unintentional that uh, might cause some overhangs. But what an offset does is it basically just gives a thickness. So I can select my shape, and you can see it's automatically choosing 4 millimeters for me, but I could drag this out, or I could go inside and offset a certain amount and give a yellow line preview like this. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to have this region in between. Okay, so then the, the nice thing about this is if I go and I want to extrude just that region, um, when I choose extrude, it guessed that I wanted that region, which is pretty good. Um, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it will extrude this part or it'll extrude the whole thing. But if you have nothing selected, you can get this just this section here. See that time I got the whole thing. See if I can, I think maybe a zoom in here. You can see how it highlights just the, the section between the lines. And then you get what's called a contour. And then you should be able to extrude just that contour. And if I hit the check mark, you can see how offset can be helpful. So again, let's go through that one more time. I'm going to start a new sketch. Um, let's see, I'll use, uh, let's just use circles this time, and I'm going to start it on this plane, and I'm going to go over here, and you can draw several circles if you wanted to make sort of like a cloud shape. You might end up with something like this, but you don't want all these interior lines, so that's where the trim tool comes into place. And the trim tool, I like to trim with just by dragging it across. You click and drag. This is one of the few times you click and drag in X Design. You just can erase the lines you don't want by dragging across them. Any line you touch gets erased. And you can see it starts to become enclosed. But I want to actually have this part too. And so you have this defined shape, and then I can offset it. And last time I went outwards, so let's go inwards this time. Hit the check mark. That is how you offset. So go ahead and offset something and extrude it and turn that in.